Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarland Toys DC Multiverse News video. Today, we have three new offerings to talk about. One is a vehicle, and two are characters that have gotten figures in the past. Multiple figures, actually, if you think about it. And now we're having new versions of them. So they should be interesting, to say the least. Something to talk about. It has been DC Multiverse Madness for months now. It really hasn't stopped. They have just kept churning the wheel. Character after character, figure after figure, platinums, exclusives, mainline, deluxes, multi-packs, vehicles. It's been crazy. So I'm sure everyone's kind of trying to come up for air at this point. Hopefully, I did order a Batman Beyond off Walmart, so we'll be having a look at that very soon. Fingers crossed it doesn't get delayed any further. But before we get started, as always, for those of you interested in what we're going to be talking about here today, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thank you very much for using my links. Should be all the major ones. There's not going to be any exclusives. It just may depend on who's actually carrying it right off the bat. Sometimes it's one, sometimes the other, sometimes it's all of them. But you'll have the links, no problemo. So first and foremost, Jason Todd, the Red Hood, is getting another figure once again. This is the umpteenth Red Hood figure. No, it's not going to have weapons. As far as I'm aware, he usually has guns in every iteration. This one being from Dawn of DC. So he has more of a hoodie with basically like a Scorpion Sub-Zero mask going on. This to me, and I'm being honest here, I like if I had to pick any Red Hood when Hush was going on and you had Jason Todd come back and he had the domino mask and he had like kind of the Hush thing going on and ended up being Clayface. That would have been my ideal look for Red Hood, Jason Todd, all that. That went south. I always thought that was a really cool looking costume. The one that McFarlane did, the one where he has more of an Iron Man helmet, he has the guns, he's got the jacket. I like that one as well. That would be the extent for me for Red Hood. As someone who really loves the idea of what Batman does, stands for, that kind of thing, he's got that no guns policy for obvious reasons. The idea that Batman would allow a quote-unquote hero now after everything that's happened when Superboy punched a crystal in the middle of space or whatever brought Jason Todd back, Lazarus Pit, according to Under the Red Hood. But it's one of those things where Batman wouldn't never allow this. Never. And I don't care what people say. Oh, he uses rubber bullets. The dude still uses guns, weapons. He's a killer. So no, I don't ever buy the character of Red Hood. If you had Jason Todd more as someone who was trying to recount for everything that he had done, he's still kind of an anti-hero, anti-villain, whatever you want to call him, that kind of deal, fine. But he has no association with Batman, and if he ever does, it's a completely different situation. The character of Red Hood doesn't make any sense, and no, I don't really care for this figure, but... A lot of people do, and that is totally fine, because to each their own. Like I said, I like the character of Red Hood with the Iron Man helmet and the guns. They're not doing guns as of right now. They're, oh, hopefully, they'll figure that out soon enough. But he comes with extra hands. He comes with a sword. He comes with a crowbar, because every Jason Todd Red Hood should come with a crowbar, of course, right? So, again, not my dealio. This will be lots of people's dealios. So, again, if you'd like them, I'll put a link down in the description below. So, from Red Hood, The Hill, and just the newer comics in general. Let's just point that out. But I found a specific comic book cover with said motorcycle. Yes, McFarlane Toys will also be doing the Red Hood sport bike. And for me, again... While it, I mean, it's red and black, it's obviously Jason Todd's. It's the Red Hood motorcycle. So that's a nice pairing. You have the figure, you have the bike, but you can buy them separate if you'd like. That, that is smart. That's good in that sense because a lot of people may just want the bike. Maybe they just want the Red Hood. It's up to you. For me, as I don't want the Red Hood figure, what can the bike be used for? I can use it for the Iron Man helmeted Red Hood if I so choose. That's cool. But if I'm being honest, 
I'm a little bit vehicled out with McFarlane toys. It's Batmobile after Batmobile after Batbike after Red Hood bike, that kind of deal. Lots of vehicles. And it's really not something to complain about. It's just, it's a picking and choosing thing at this point. This bike looks fantastic. Red Hood fits on the bike. He can hold the katana and slice and dice as he so chooses. He looks great next to it. But again, it's just not something for me. However, for those of you that are into this, Marvel Legends collectors, I can see a lot of you probably going after this too. Seven inch figure collectors, DC Multiverse or otherwise, this will probably work great for you. So yeah, that's not a bad deal at all. That's a sweet sports bike for your six to seven inch, perhaps maybe pushing it, eight inch action figures, depending on what you're collecting. So here it all is, all packaged up. Red hood, sports bike, red, black. Certainly likes his customization. Must have rubbed off from old Bruce Wayne, that's for sure. Now, to go back to the figures, again, this was on display at San Diego Comic-Con at the McFarland event. We have Cyborg, specifically from his DC Rebirth outing. The Flashpoint Build-A-Figure Cyborg was, let's say, too large, but fitting for that specific universe, that specific storyline. So you have that Cyborg, which wasn't a bad figure by any means, but he's just entirely too big if you want to fit him with more of the comic book. Plus, he had elements to him. The paint. It just didn't work for me. If you want to just do Flashpoint, sure, that is totally awesome. Then you had the Teen Titans animated series Cyborg, which really went nowhere. That's a fantastic figure, but we never got any more characters, unfortunately. At that time, they were kind of just, and I do say at that time, but they're still kind of doing the same thing. It's just like random, like boom, boom. Hey, throw this out there. Sure, why not? This specific Cyborg is a lot more in tune of what I think about with Cyborg. Sure, I would love 80s Cyborg, but this one will fit really nicely, I think, at least in my collection. So I'll definitely be going for this one. Victor Stone has never looked better. That is a fantastic head portrait. I like the reds, the silvers. The one thing, though, is that he has this attachment weapon. And at first, I really thought that it was the same gun arm cannon from the Batman Beyond Joker bot. But in fact, in kind of looking at it, comparing the two, it's fairly similar. It may be something that they reworked so that it could be detached and something that could be placed on Cyborg as opposed to just straight reuse because there are different elements to it. But it certainly looks the same. Now, I, I really wish that they would have maybe created some kind of new cannon, like they have some blue to, you know, that kind of folds back and he kind of does like the Teen Titans, right? When he's going to say Booyah and Blast ya, and that would have been kind of cool. Oh, kind of like the card art. Let's <laughs> let's just call it that. So you get the weird gun. That's I'm going to say that's a pat. I mean, uh, it could have been anything. I got the stand, of course. You got the card and yeah, there you go. There's Cyborg all packaged up, ready to go. Cyborg from DC Rebirth. So that's the one for me out of the three. And that will wrap it up for my quick talkings about these three new figures. Like I said, we had the Court of Owls recently. We also had a bunch of Platinums and such, but hitting Walmart stores. They're also starting to trickle into Targets, apparently. Hopefully, you'll see other stores get them. They're not exclusive. Remember, if it says Platinum, it's a Chase figure. It's like a Funko Pop. Always think of it in that sense. It can go anywhere. It can be shipped in from anywhere. It doesn't matter. It's just never exclusive unless it says gold label. When you see the words gold label, that means exclusive to wherever, store, whatever online avenue you order it from. Hopefully that makes it simple because let's say this, if I am getting confused a lot by a lot of this stuff, I could just imagine what the masses, the ones that are not always in this universe as much as I am, are thinking. It's probably like, well, I better go to Toy Shoes for these answers and then I better have them, right? That's that's how this whole deal works out. Again, if you want any affiliate links, they're down in the description below. You can order what you like. And so I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, again, have a fantastic weekend. Live it up, do something fun. Don't just mess around with toys. Go out with your family. Take your family to dinner. Take your wives, your husbands, your girlfriends, your boyfriends. Go and do something fun, something you'll remember and forget about all this stuff until Monday and then we'll we'll reconvene. What do you do? 
Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.